Ooh, just look at that. That is so beautiful. What's going on? It's your boy Jay DeNero. I'm at the grocery store right now. I'm about to go in here and grab a few items that I need to finish making this pizza pasta. You know, I decided that I wanted some pizza, but I also wanted some pasta. So I decided to combine the two and see what I got. You know, stay tuned to see how this turns out. I also want y'all to go to the grocery store and grab these same ingredients and cook with me. You know, I do this for y'all. If you're digging the content, hit the like and subscribe button. Oh yeah, the recipe is going to be in the description. Okay, let's get into these ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all my ingredients. I have one cup of chicken broth. I'm going to have two cans of tomato paste. Some fire, roasted. Diced tomatoes. Pepperoni, of course. Where would a pizza be without pepperoni? I have my Jiminy regular sausage, ground beef, thick and zesty spaghetti sauce, one onion. I'm going to chop that up. I have my green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, red bell pepper. I have my cooking wine. As you can see that, a little olive oil. I also have some herbs and spices, but my kitchen's so small. I wish God would bless me with a bigger, better kitchen, but you know, I got to work with what I have. So I'm going to be introducing those herbs and spices to y'all as I put this recipe together. Okay, we're going to start off with our noodles. I have these penny noodles. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my eight cups of water. Just like so. I'm also going to add some olive oil so our noodles won't stick together. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of salt. Now that we have that olive oil and our salt, in our noodles, we're going to give it a stir before they start to boil. And we're going to let these penny noodles boil for like 10 to 11 minutes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add our ground beef. Add my frying pan on medium heat. Go ahead and add the ground beef to our saucepan. pan. While that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and add our herbs and spices, okay? We're going to go ahead and start adding our herbs and spices.
let's go ahead and mix those flavors around. Get all those flavors submerged in that ground beef. We're going to let this ground beef cook for five to six minutes. Okay, that ground beef has already cooked three minutes, so we're going to go ahead and add our breakfast sausage, jimmedine, regular premium pork sausage. I'm going to add half a stick of that. I'm not going to add the whole stick. We're going to submerge that in there, break that down. Get that submerge in there, get all those flavors combined. And we're going to continue to let that cook like three more minutes. I'm going to go ahead and chop up my bell peppers and onions. We're going to chop these up real nice and fine. Okay, my ground beef is done. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and transfer that into my steel pan. Just like so. Get that all in there. As you can see, I already cut up my bell peppers and my onions. Got those all in my bowl. I'm about to sear them for like three minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little olive oil to my pan. Put that fire on medium. Go ahead and add my bell peppers and onions to my frying pan. Mix it around, get those flavors in it. Get those vegetables even coated with the olive oil. I'm about to come with some pink Himalayan salt. A little black pepper. I'm sorry if y'all hear my partner in the background. This idiot currently talking, knowing I'm doing a video. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna hit that with a little black pepper. Hit that with a little Greek seed. Flavors some ribs. Okay, I have those vegetables seared just like I want them. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my pan. Transfer it to my pan. Just like so. Okay. Now we're gonna go from there. We're gonna start making our homemade spaghetti sauce. Get that with my one can of tomato sauce. Oh, I'm sorry. See that? That one can of spaghetti sauce. Two cans of tomato paste. By the way, I have that pan on low. Next, I'm gonna hit that with a cup of chicken broth. Cup of water. I'm gonna go ahead and add both cans of our fire roasted diced tomatoes. We're gonna add our pack of our thick and zesty 
spaghetti sauce. Ooh, that smells good. Mm. I wish y'all was here to smell this right now. This smells so good, so wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add that ground beef. That ground beef out in there. Mix that all up in there. Some of my bell peppers and onions, not all of them, just a little bit of them. Put a nice texture on it. I'm gonna go ahead and top that off with some of my crab chip cheddar cheese. Get it all coated. Be careful now, you don't want that to come off the edge. Take it slow now. Creamy milk mozzarella cheese. We don't go too heavy on that. Mozzarella. Just get those pepperonis combined in there. Ooh, just look at that. That is so beautiful. Ooh, look at that. It looks so beautiful. Moment of truth, people. Let's see what this tastes like. I hit it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. A little bit of parsley on top. Ooh, that looks good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow, wow, wow. From yours truly, Jay De Niro. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Went ahead and add a little bit of parsley. A little bit of Parmesan cheese, top that off. Tasting the flavor of those seasoned bell peppers, that pepperoni, all those flavors, all those spices, the ground beef, the Jiminine sausage. Mm. It's your boy Jay De Niro. Until we meet again, I'm about to get out of here, finish up this piece of pasta.